Gods damn it, I swear I will have at least one stream where nothing goes wrong, including my own brain. Hey y'all, it's Illyrian, and welcome to the Sunday stream. Gods damn it. I was saying, it is not just any Sunday stream, it is a very special stream, because tonight is our first charity stream, because now that I'm affiliate, I can do that. And we are raising money for the Louis Body Dementia Association in honor of my father, whose birthday would be tomorrow. You had fun Saturday at Retrocon. Uh, we ended up not going, and that's a story for another time. <laughs> we were supposed to go today, but something happened and we ended up not being able to go, but that's okay. We'll, we'll have it happen next time, hopefully. Um, but yes, my father would be 82 tomorrow, but unfortunately, both due to the fact that he was older than most of my friend's fathers, but also because of neurological issues, not including, but probably not limited to Lewy body dementia, he was passed sooner than we would have liked. So we are raising money for the Lewy body dementia association to help with researching both the causes and potential treatments and a potential cure, hopefully one day for this form of dementia and Alzheimer's. I am still gonna be playing Bolt Gun tonight. I'm gonna try to figure out a, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a an interval for when I should stop to talk about the cause because I want the focus to be on raising the money, not just on me playing the game. So I think just whenever various things occur in the game or just every few minutes, I might just set a timer on my phone to go off every few minutes. Let's see. I don't want it to be loud. That's the only thing. If I set a timer, it's gonna make noise and that's gonna disrupt things. I'll do this. Whenever I find a big health pack or I die in the game, I'll stop to talk about this. But yeah, so we are raising money. We The goal is very low. <clears throat> Our goal is at $25 and if we reach that, we will, we will go up from there. Let me manage goals. Can I put, can I put our fundraiser progress on there? All right. Uh, I will need to figure out how I can add a charity like goal bar to the stream for you guys to see. Cause I don't know how to do that. Let me, let me look that up right now. Let me see if I can, well, fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> Let's see here. Cause giving y'all the visual of where we're sitting as far as raising the money would be good. Add charity. Goal bar to Twitch stream. And yes, Dags the Barbarian, CMO Monstar, and HMK118, welcome to the chat and welcome to our first charity stream. Dags the Barbarian has contributed 2,000 points to the crafting stream challenge. That's great, thank you. Oh, is this a Streamlabs thing? Is, is that what we're doing here? Oh, okay. All right, we're pulling up Streamlabs. We're logging in. Donation ticker? Eh, no. Donation goal, I believe is what I want. Yes, that is what I want. Charting amount is zero. Oh, HMK118, thank you for donating $10 to the Dewey Body Dementia Association. I appreciate that, thank you. We're already <laughs> a good way to our goal. Let me get, let me get stream labels to update that. Thank you. I, 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 I thought long and hard and I looked through all the like charity options and I was like, okay, we'll do our first one in March. His birthday would have been tomorrow. Where's the thingy? Are, are you trying to find the button dags? Um, I don't know where it is on mobile. I don't know where it is on mobile. Rewards and challenges. No, let me, let me pull up my own stream on desktop. Does the full $10 go to the charity? Yes. Every amount of money that goes through the donation button and the charity buttons go straight to the charity. I do not make any of that money. I make money off of the subs, the bits paid to play certain sounds or do certain things, people purchasing channel points, That that is, and the ad revenue. I make money off of that stuff, but the, all of the charity stuff goes directly to the Louis Body Association. Let me see. Let me see where the button is on desktop. Okay, so where the sub button normally is, looks like it has been turned into the charity button dags. So like on desktop, if I'm looking, this the button that normally would say subscribe says donate to charity and I can click on that and it brings up the fundraiser stuff first. And then there's a secondary tab in that dialogue for the subscription stuff. Not on mobile, okay. I'm trying to see if I can find a layout of Twitch on mobile to help you out here. Honk. 
<laughs> Here, how to donate on the Twitch mobile app. Go to streamers ab uh, about page and one of the buttons on my about page should have the option to donate. Let me know if you see it or do not see it. Mine says no content available. Okay, let me pull up on my phone and see if I can see it, even though I have an iPhone and you have Android. We're, we're gonna figure this out, because people need to know these things. Let me make sure my sound is off so y'all don't start hearing an echo of my stream here. Channel. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, I, I see the blank about page, which should not be correct, but I'll deal with that another time. No, nope, that's emotes. That's cheering and bits. That's points. Huh, I don't see it. Maybe I need to go fix my about page. Something must not be loading right, because I have stuff for the about page. I have a bio there. Let me see if I can fix something on the charity thing, maybe? We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. I'm taking my time with the stream tonight, so we're gonna... My fundraisers. I can view donations. I don't think I... I can edit the goal. I don't know, maybe it's... Maybe it doesn't exist on mobile. Where is the donate button on Twitch mobile? No, okay, so that that's tipping. That's not what I want. This this might be a Twitch issue. Yeah, I it it might not work on mobile. I'm not seeing it because unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunately, when I'm looking up donating on mobile, it's bringing up sending tip like bit donations as in tipping the streamer but it's not yeah all i'm seeing is the option for bit donations but not the normal like cash charity cash kind for charities all right so here's what i will do i will look up for next time yeah i know i will look up for next look you're welcome to come steal my laptop and and donate that way in the meantime here i'm not gonna put an ending date oh i have to put an ending date okay a three, a four. Settings. I want to make this look nicer. Gonna make it a nice pretty blue, because blue was my dad's favorito color. Pretty light blue. Yeah. My, uh, my dad and my mom's dad agreed that, according to them, blue was the only color that God ever invented. <laughs> I don't know about that part, but it's dark goal. Must be in the future. Yeah, it is. What do you mean? What? Thank you. Show. And I'm going to add in, I need a, I guess a browser. See, those are things I did not think about before tonight and that's unfortunate, but donation bar. Okay, come on. Got it, thank you. All right, page not found. Lovely. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to pull up Streamlabs on the desktop for this and just copy the damn URL because there must have been characters missing that it wasn't giving me. So there will be a bit of lag as I get this figured out. Let me also figure out, um, largest streaming platform on the planet can't donate to charity via mobile app. I know it's, it's a concern. That's, that's a serious oversight on their part. Uh, top donor. Hey, green scene. Welcome to the chat. I just noticed your message. <laughs> uh, documents here. Okay. So that must, God dang it. Stop it. Okay, that must be for bits donations then. That's irritating. See, the, 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 the fact that they call that donating, they really need to just call that tipping because it's making this more difficult than it needs to be. These straps are the worst lace. It's itchy. Log in. Log in with Twitch. I literally just need to go find the widget, copy the link and paste it into OBS and we're good. I know the music is cutting out. Let me move this off of my face. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Man, I love that everything is freezing. What the hell? No, that's a large box. I don't need that. Shit's poorly done. There we go. I'll leave that. It's fine. Let's see if that works. Please. See, it's it's just blank now. Okay. All right. There's that at least. Now the music's working. All right. This is clearly just not going to work tonight. Cool. <sighs> I'm so tired of things not working, but it's fine. Dags, if you want to come steal my laptop so that you can make a donation over desktop, you are welcome to do so. I will not need it for the next few minutes. Oh great, my capture card isn't updating. There it goes. All right, let's do our tarot card because I almost forgot that that's a thing that we do on the streams. We're gonna do that. I am using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot. Hang on, there we go. That uh, one of my very good friends gifted to me for Christmas one year. My headphone cord wants to be murdered. 
because it is determined to be in the way. Oh, and we do have a chica in her bed right back here. I will probably gather her to come say hello at some point. We've got two cards. You know what? We're going to roll with it. We have the, what is that number? Inverted Seven of Candles and the Knight of Presents. Ah! Dropping the guidebook. You can see it was open to the right spot and then I dropped it. There we go. The Seven of Candles in reverse. Has your self-confidence taken a hit recently? Are you feeling overwhelmed or exasperated? <laughs> Shit. Don't get so bogged down in the details that you lose sight of the larger picture. Remember how far you've come. You are more than capable of making your dreams come true. The Knight of Presents. I forget that it puts the court cards before the numbers. Okay. The Knight of Presents is a hardworking, steadfast person focused on being as productive as he possibly can be. He finds success in his endeavors by sticking to a solid routine. This card advises you to work diligently and focus on the details, but don't focus so much that you forget the big picture. Okay, appropriate. Are you being called out right now? Maybe a little, maybe just a skosh. You know, speaking of skosh, especially because Dags went ham with all the different uh, ways he could spell it last time or one time recently, I found out that skosh is, a lot of people think it's Yiddish. They think it's, it's a Jewish term. Uh, but in fact, it is an English evolution of a Japanese term, sukoshi, which means a little bit. Skosh comes from Japanese. I think that's really cool. While I have the full camera up, I'll go ahead and say one of my little bits here. I just have information from the Louis Body Dementia Association site, as well as off of the National Institute on Aging, because this is a condition that mostly affects older individuals. According to this and, and the various research that's been done so far, Lewy body dementia affects more than 1 million individuals in the United States alone. People typically begin showing symptoms at age 50 or older, though it has occurred in younger people. It appears to affect slightly more men than it does women. Diagnosing Lewy body dementia can be challenging as early symptoms are often confused with similar symptoms found in other brain and neurological diseases and psychiatric disorders. Lewy body dementia can occur alone or it can come in tandem with other brain disorders. It is a progressive disease, meaning symptoms start slowly and worsen over time. On average, someone with Lewy body dementia will last for five to eight years from diagnosis to passing, but the true reign, the true span of time can range from anywhere to two to 20 years. The speed of the develop, the speed of development of symptoms and change varies greatly from person to person, depending on overall health, age, and severity of symptom. So it is, it is a form of dementia. Uh, we'll talk about some of the more specific symptoms throughout the stream, but it's, it's more common than people realize. Most people don't hear about it until they have a loved one who's diagnosed with it. I didn't know what it was until my dad got his diagnosis. And I think our scenario of getting it diagnosed and treated was much more jarring and sudden than a lot of other people. And, and part of it is because a lot of the early symptoms can be attributed to any number of other neurological and psychiatric problems. I say problems, disorders, which in turn can lead to misdiagnosis until something much more blatant and severe symptom wise comes through and your doctors will put the pieces together and realize, oh, this may have been what it was the entire time, or you could have both. Because one of the things we suspect with my dad's case is that either his earlier diagnoses of two different psychiatric issues were in fact just early signs of the Louis body, or he was in fact dealing with two or three scenarios at a time. I don't know if research would show this currently, but I suspect that once one neurological problem presents, it makes it easier for other neurological issues to occur and contribute to a degradation of life and psyche and all sorts of other things. That's why it's important that if you ever start to question anything, especially about your mental and your neurological health, because like mental health is one thing, 
some mental health issues are in fact psychiatric and can are, are attributed to misfiring chemicals in the brain and can be medicated and treated. Neurological is entirely a physical problem that is causing everything else. And that is where things like dementia and Alzheimer's and bipolar and such will come into play. And I suspect that once one chemical or protein or other issue comes into effect, it probably makes you more susceptible to developing other issues. It's it's just a breakdown of the human body is, is what it is. So all of the money you donate tonight and, and at any point, if for whatever reason you are watching the VOD on YouTube after tonight, you can of course go to, let me double check that I'm giving you correct information before I speak it. Yes, okay. For those of you watching the VOD on YouTube after the charity has occurred, you can of course go to lbda.org and donate that way. In fact, I am going to put, yeah, it's lbda.org slash donate. I'm going to tell Mubot to create a command for that. And that way, Dags, you should be able to use that command to get a link. I'll, I'll drop the link now. All right, there you go, Dags. There is a link to the donation page directly on their site if you would like to donate. It will not technically contribute to the goal here on Twitch but I will know that you did it. But yeah, let me tell Mubot to add that button. No, spell donate correctly. Create, I keep misspelling donate. All right, so y'all should be able to use command donate in the chat to access that link at any time. So especially those of you who are watching on mobile, that will be your only option, unfortunately. There is even the option on their site to say it's in honor or memory of someone. I, at some point this evening or tomorrow, will probably make a donation myself in Dad's name. So, and I'll, I'll let them know that I, I mean, I've, I've tagged them in a couple of places on social, but I don't know how monitor, how closely monitored their social media is. So I'm gonna put y'all on break really fast because I need to go use the restroom. When I come back, I'll talk a little bit more about the issue at hand, and then we will finally get into this game and start playing. And I'll talk a little bit here and there about the issue and I might pull up some information about the association as well, talk more about it. But yeah, I'll see y'all after the break. Okay, friends, I believe I have found, at least in Streamlabs, the button I need to add for the donation thing. So give me a moment. Not, no, not new scene. Sources, add, text, top donor. We'll hit okay. Dax the Barbarian, thank you for donating 25 for the Louis Body Dementia Association. That puts us over our goal already. So I am going to go in and up the goal to 50. Yes. Read from file, browse, all time. I need to make this box bigger so we can see more of these options at once here. Is it in here? There it is. All time top. Donator open. Haha! -ha! That's not right. Huh, <sighs> that's not right. Okay, we're gonna have to total Twitch charity donation amount is what we'll have to do. There we go. Oh, and now I see the damn bar. Good lord. Why is it on there as a follower goal? Everything is going wrong tonight, except for the fact that y'all are helping me raise this money. Twitch <laughs> goals. That's all ad stuff. Why why is there not a thing? Okay, why why is that bar showing like that? Goal bar. That's that's wrong. Properties. All right. You know what? We are. Why is it doing this stuff to me tonight? Where, where are my goals? I don't even know. All right. We're just we're gonna turn that bar off for now, because that's being stupid. Properties. Background color. I will I will have this figured out better for next time. But all right. Hey, P tag me. Welcome to the chat. I did see you earlier. Welcome. Hello. Every everything's gotta everything's gotta be a problem and go wrong in in these streams. I uh, anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about our issue at hand, and then we will launch the game finally and get into this. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate all of you that are in chat and, and hanging in there watching the stream this evening. So yeah, we are, as stated before, and as you are seeing uh, on the Twitch dialogue, especially if you are on desktop, we are raising money for the Louis Body Dementia Association. There they are. Which stands to support those affected by Louis Body Dementia, including the families and the caregivers of those diagnosed with it 
through outreach, education, and research, and they are dedicated to raising awareness and promos- promoting scientific advances to better understand, treat, and hopefully one day cure Lewy body dementia. So what is Lewy body dementia? It is, I'll, I'll call it LBD for short. LBD is a disease associated with abnormal deposits of a protein in the brain called alpha-synuclein. These deposits, called Lewy bodies, affect chemicals in the brain whose changes in turn often lead to problems with thinking, can lead to problems with thinking, movement, behavior, and mood. Lewy body dementia is one of the most common causes of dementia. As stated earlier, it affects more than 1 million individuals in the United States alone. Symptoms usually begin appearing and being recognizable as at the age of 50 or over, but it has and can occur in younger individuals as well, and it occurs slightly more often in men than in women. Many early symptoms are often confused with similar symptoms found in other neurological and psychiatric diseases and disorders. And it is a progressive disease, meaning the symptoms will start slowly and worsen over time. On average, from diagnosis to passing, a person will last between five and eight years, though there have been cases where someone has lived as few as two years or as many as 20 years with this condition. And there are many other factors that contribute to the development speed of the changes and the symptoms, including your overall health, your age, and the severity of your symptoms when they occur. In the early stages, symptoms can be mild and people can function fairly normally, but as it advances, people with Lewy body dementia or LBD will often require more help due to a decline in cognitive and mobility and cognition and mobility. In later stages, they often will depend entirely on others for assistance and care. Some symptoms may respond to treatment for a period of time, but currently there is no cure for the disease. Research is improving our understanding of the condition and advances in sciences may one day lead to better diagnosis, improved care, and new treatments. So that is that is what we're doing and we're raising money for this because my father passed sooner than he probably should have due to being diagnosed in 2013, in the fall of 2013 with Lewy body dementia. I had started, I had just started my first semester of college when everything occurred and he passed he lived about five years which is the average with the condition though he probably technically lived more because we we believe that many symptoms that we attributed to his bipolar and his parkinson's diagnoses were perhaps in fact the lewy body dementia that might have been the entire condition he was dealing with the entire time or he could have been dealing with two or all three of those conditions and it's hard to know which symptoms were from which because all three of them have symptoms that mirror each other. But yeah, I will talk a little bit more about that when we reach either a big health pack or we die in bolt gun, but let us switch over. I need to actually put it on the bolt gun scene for you guys. There we go. Let's get bolt gun started. I need to unmute the game here and we will continue our run of chapter two in bolt gun. Ooh. No, so my earrings are scraping at the back of my head. That's all right. And as a reminder for anybody on mobile, you can use the command donate in chat to pull up the donation link for you to be able to donate. It will go directly through the Louis Body site. There is an option to mark if you are donating on behalf or in memory of someone else. So that is of course an option, it's not necessary. And all pro- all donations made through the donation link that pulls up in chat, as well as through the button here on Twitch, will go directly to Louis Body Dementia Association. I do not pocket any of that donation money. I only earn through ad revenue and Twitch subs and bits. So none of the charity, none of the money intended for the charity will come to me. If that helps you make a decision of how much you donate and whether or not you donate. I do hope everybody gives at least a little tonight. Though we've already technically hit our initial goal, so uh, we are we are ten dollars past our initial goal. And see, there's my sub goal on there. Hang on, I need to bring the donation money over. Where are you? Copy, paste, put you there. All right, tunnels beneath. Oh boy. Thank you. 
I just found a big health pack, so I will pause it and talk a little bit more. I did say I was going to do that. I won't switch the screen around at all. I'll just put the camera on top so that I don't lag here. So, what are the causes of Louie body dementia? That's so funny that I found one immediately. Uh-oh. That is cut off, so I will pull it up on their site here. Actually, this is on the NIA, the National Institute on Aging's website. Here it is. All right. That's what it says. Okay. The precise cause of Lewy body dementia or LBD is currently unknown, but scientists are learning more about its biology and genetics. We do know that an accumulation of Lewy bodies, which are, what was that again? which are abnormal deposits of the alpha-synuclein protein in the brain. An accumulation of these Lewy bodies is associated with a loss of certain neurons in the brain that produce two important chemicals that act as messengers between brain cells between brain cells, your neurotransmitters. One of these messengers, acetylcholine, is important for memory and learning. The other, dopamine, plays an important role in behavior, cognition, movement, motivation, sleep, and mood. Scientists are also currently learning about the risk factors for LBD. These are what may increase the chance of developing a disease. Some can be controlled, others cannot. Age is considered the greatest risk factor. No specific lifestyle has been proven to increase your risk for LBD. As stated before, symptoms typically begin to occur in a in people age 50 or over, but younger people have been known to start exhibiting symptoms. Other known risk factors for LBD include certain other diseases and health condi conditions, particularly Parkinson's disease, or REM sleep behavior disorder, which have been linked to higher risk. Having a family member with LBD may also increase someone's risk, though it is not considered a genetic disease. Variants in three currently known genes, APO, APO, A-P-O-E, SNCA, S-N-C-A, and GBA have been associated with increased risk, but in most cases, the cause is unknown. There are clinical trials going on to try to explore how genetics and other factors contribute to your risk of contract of not contracting of developing lbd and by joining one of these studies you may learn more about how it changes the brain and contribute useful inter information to help other adults in the future so as i said other conditions can increase your risk of developing it and it can increase your risk of developing other conditions um many Neurological and psychiatric issues can tend to go hand in hand. So just a little cubby hole room? capture back on top so it lags less
Oh, it just saved. Okay. So I need to jump down. I don't really want to. All right, I guess there's nothing else in here I can take really, so. See a doorway over there. to be able to kill a couple of them before I get over there.
that worked. Okay. Joy-Con decided it did not want me to actually pull the trigger for a second there. Alright, I found a big health pack, so we're gonna stop again here. <laughs> Where was I? Alright, signs and symptoms. People with LBD may not have every symptom associated with the disease. Any sudden or major change in functional ability or behavior should be reported to a doctor. Most common symptoms include changes in cognition, movement, sleep, and behavior. I'm gonna scroll down here and just use my laptop to help with this. Cognitive, the cognitive symptoms of Lewy body dementia include, these will be changes in thinking abilities. These may include visual hallucinations or seeing things that are not present. Visual hallucinations occur in up to 80% of people diagnosed with LBD, often early on in the development of the condition. Non-visual hallucinations, such as hearing or smelling things that are not present, are less common than visual but may also occur. Unpredictable changes in concentration, attention, alertness, and wakefulness from day to day, and sometimes throughout the day. Ideas may be disorganized, unclear, or illogical. These kinds of changes are common in LBD and may help distinguish it from Alzheimer's disease. Third, severe loss of thinking abilities that interfere with daily activity. Unlike Alzheimer's dementia, memory problems may not be evident at first, but often arise as LBD progresses. Other changes related to thinking may include poor judgment, confusion about time and place, or difficulty with language and numbers. Movement problems of LBD. Some people with LBD may experience no significant movement problems for several years. Others may experience them early on. At first, is that at first? Yes. The, my printer cut off the like very top and left and edges of the text for some reason when I printed this out, so that's why I'm having a glance at my laptop. At first, movement symptoms such as change in handwriting may be very mild and easily overlooked. Movement problems may include muscle rigidity or stiffness, a shuffling walk, slow movement, or frozen stance, tremors or shaking, most commonly at rest, balance problems and repeated falls, a stooped posture, loss of coordination, smaller handwriting than usual for the person, reduced facial expression, difficulty swallowing, and weak voice. 
Effects on sleep. Sleep disorders are common in people with LBD, but are often undiagnosed. A sleep specialist may help diagnose and treat these sleep disorders. Occurrences in LBD that patients may include REM sleep behavior disorder, excessive daytime sleepiness, sleeping two or more hours during the day, though that can be confusing because I will say some people are genetically just wired to be nocturnal. That's, that's, I think, an unfair one. That would have, that one would definitely have to be caught hand in hand with several other symptoms. Insomnia or restless leg syndrome. Changes in behavior and mood are possible in LBD and may worsen as the person's thinking abilities decline. These include depression, apathy or lack of interest in normal daily activity or events, and less social interaction. Anxiety and related behaviors such as asking the same questions over and over or becoming angry or fearful when a loved one is not present. Agitation or restlessness and related behaviors such as pacing, hand wringing, inability to settle, constant repeat repetition of words or phrases, or irritability. Delusions or strongly held false beliefs or opinions based on no evidence. For example, a person may think his or her spouse is having an affair or that relatives long dead or still are still living. Paranoia or extreme irrational distrust of others such as suspicion that people are taking or hiding things. Those last two hit close to home. My, my dad definitely had visual hallucinations. That was one of the first signs that something was up, which... Oddly enough, the doctor said can also occur in Parkinson's, so we couldn't even be sure from that one. And disturbances of sleep can be a later progression with Parkinson's as well. But the, the delusions and the paranoia occurred with my father. He at one point believed that my mother and I were not actually who we are and thought that we were keeping him trapped in his own house. So, um, some of these symptoms are very severe and very drastic and can be very, very scary for the loved ones, especially in a case like ours where my father had a very sudden shift into checking off many, many of these symptoms, especially the behavioral and the mood affecting symptoms, um, where he was mostly uh, his normal self up until about I forget even what day it was, but somewhere in October of 2013, I was at, I was on campus and I got a call from my mom and everything changed that day. So while it talks about these things being gradual to the people, to the loved ones surrounding the patient when, when the diagnosis comes in and when these symptoms develop, some of these symptoms may feel like a gut punch when they occur because they're gonna feel probably very sudden if this is, especially because some of these things cause a significant change or even flip in the demeanor and the behavior and the beliefs of the person that it's affecting. So um, other symptoms of LBD come from significant changes to other parts of the nervous system, right, such as those that regulate automatic functions like the heart, glands, and muscles. These can include changes in body temperature, problems with blood pressure, dizziness, fainting, frequent falls, sensitivity to heat and cold, sexual dysfunction, urinary incontinence, constipation, and poor sense of smell. So. That's, that's a whole thing of the various symptoms that can occur. No two cases are going to be identical. No two people are going to have exactly the same symptoms in exactly the same order. Usually you will start seeing movement and I think some of the mood issues first and the movement will start to kick in a bit later. And that was one of the reasons, that was one of the reasons we struggled with diagnosing my father is because he had had a bipolar diagnosis in 1998. So a lot of the mood and behavioral issues could be attributed to his bipolar disorder. When he started having his some of the movement issues and some of the other things that the bipolar medication wasn't helping, um, that's when the Parkinson's diagnosis came through. And he had the tremors that are often associated with Parkinson's, but that can also be a symptom of the Lewy body dementia. So these these various conditions can mirror each other very, very closely. And one thing to keep in mind about all forms of dementia, including Alzheimer's, 
often there is no true way to actually be sure of the diagnosis until an autopsy. That's what makes it particularly difficult is unless the family is willing to pay for that, they may never have a true answer. So that is why donating to something like the Louis Body Dementia Association is so important because the more money they raise, the more they can put toward the research of the disease to find out all of the causes, all of the risks, all of the treatments and cures that can help, but also so that they can boost their resources to support the families and caregivers of those patients suffering from Lewy body dementia. It will help to pay for care homes, for hospices, for medications, for doctor visits, therapy probably for the loved ones um, so that because that this is something that will heavily, heavily affect those families. One other thing I want to shout out really quickly, I don't have a link prepared, I will get one at some point, but there is a local company that has started up recently by actually a former classmate of mine. It's called Love Petunia, Love, Petunia. Her mother was diagnosed in the last few years with Alzheimer's and she's, she's young to be beginning to go through Alzheimer's but they started a company called Love Petunia and they make bracelets and proceeds from all of the bracelets that they sell. I think they might be branching into some other merchandise as well, but the bracelets that they make are intended to support Alzheimer's research. And that very much goes hand in hand because Alzheimer's is another form of dementia. If you'd be interested in some really cute bracelets and helping a very similar cause to what I'm promoting tonight, check out Love Petunia. It's a Louisiana-based, it's a Baton Rouge-based little company that started up this year or last year. A boutique-style gift shop with handmade bracelets, gifts for any occasion, holiday items, and accessories. A percentage of every purchase goes to Alzheimer's research. So that is another option outside of donating to Lewy body dementia. There are other forms of dementia like Alzheimer's that you can also donate to, especially if you have a loved one who is dealing with any of these. Consider finding whichever nonprofits and and medical centers are doing as much work as possible to research and treat not only the disease but help the loved ones of those who are dealing with the disease and consider things like this i'm, I'm gonna definitely promote love petunia as much as i can i'm not i haven't been asked to they're not sponsoring me alexis probably has no idea that i even stream on twitch even though i post all the time on facebook about it i i can only empathize very very strongly with her with what she's going through with her mom. And that was a little bit rambly. This is my first time doing this. I apologize and I appreciate your patience as we do this. All right. Let us let us continue here. Right Joy-Con is being a problem. I just picked up a big health pack, so I will deal with that in a moment. Alright, we'll read a little bit more here. LBD can refer to, want to either of two related diagnoses, dementia with Lewy bodies, 
DLB, or Parkinson's disease dementia. Both diagnoses have the same underlying changes in the brain, and over time, people with either diagnosis develop similar symptoms to each other. The difference lies largely in the timing of the cognitive and movement symptoms. In dementia with Lewy bodies, cognitive symptoms develop within one year of the movement symptoms. People with dementia with Lewy bodies have a decline in thinking ability that may resemble Alzheimer's disease. Over time, however, they also develop the movement and other distinctive symptoms of Lewy body dementia. In Parkinson's disease dementia, cognitive symptoms will develop more than a year after the onset of the movement symptoms, such as tremors and muscle stiffness. Parkinson's disease dementia starts as a, as a movement disorder with symptoms such as slowed movement, muscle stiffness, tremors, and shuffling walk. These symptoms are consistent with a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, but later cognitive symptoms of dementia and changes in mood and behavior may arise to clarify the diagnosis. Not all Parkinson's patients will develop dementia, and it is difficult to predict which ones will. Many older people with Parkinson's will develop some degree of de dementia, though it may not necessarily be the Lewy body dementia. Talking with both patients and caregivers will help doctors make a diagnosis. It is important to tell your doctor about any symptoms involving thinking, movement, sleep, behavior, or mood. You must also discuss other health problems and provide a list of all current medications, including prescriptions, over-the-counter drugs, vitamins, and supplements. Certain medications can worsen the symptoms of Lewy body dementia. Caregivers may be reluctant to talk about a person's symptoms when that person is present. You can ask to speak with the doctor privately if necessary. The more information a doctor has, the more accurate and informed a diagnosis can be. While Lewy body dementia currently cannot be prevented or cured, some symptoms may respond to treatment for a period of time. A treatment plan may involve medications, physical or other forms of therapy, and counseling. A plan to make any home safety updates and identify equipment can make everyday tasks easier. A skilled care team can often suggest ways to improve quality of life both for patients and their caregivers. We will pull this back up and keep going here. The armor, thank you. Alter ammo. My trigger decided to waste shit.
get that anvil go. Vengeance launcher? What is this? Hearing noises I don't like. Big fuck off what launcher? Grenade launcher, okay. There you are. Three mags to reload that thing, use it sparingly. Well, I think the amble was a good use of it. No? Alright, I guess I gotta go down there now. Also, I didn't pick up all the ammo that was right there when I picked up the weapon, so go back for some of it. I guess I didn't think I had. That's right, it was in here. Uh, 
magazine. Dragonfire magazine. We'll just call it that. that blue hallway is where I'm supposed to go. So. Yeah, there it was. said that before you started shooting anything. <laughs> it's funny, in IRL, those rounds would be called Dragon's Breath. Use heavier weapons to kill it more. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I figured it out. Okay, let's uh, read a bit more here. I don't know where this picks up here. Ah, here we go. Okay. Okay, this is a bunch of treatment information, which I don't necessarily want to get into. So I'll go into this. Lewy body dementia research. Many avenues of research are being explored to improve our understanding of LBD. Some researchers are working to identify the specific differences in the brain between the two types. Oh, is my camera stopped? Whoops. 
Camera? Numbers next to the name indicate stop. Yeah, I did notice the numbers indicating the toughness. Yes, my camera is stopped. Yes, you can donate through the channel stream. Uh, Greenseam, are you on... You're on mobile, yes? Because we, we found... Yeah, so if you type in the chat exclamation point, an exclamation point followed by the word donate, that is the command for the donation link, because for whatever reason, Twitch has not created... Yeah, Twitch has not figured out how to allow donations. Thank you, Dags. Green Seam, if you see the link there that just got put in the chat, lbda.org slash donate, you can donate directly through the Louis Body site. It will not contribute to the goal here on Twitch, but I will know... I will know that you donated. Because for whatever reason, that is the one thing Twitch is lacking right now, is how to donate to charity events on mobile devices. Some researchers are working to identify the specific differences in the brain between the two types of LBD. Others are looking at the disease's underlying biology, genetics, and environmental risk factors. Still others are trying to identify the biomarkers, or biological indicators of disease, to improve to improve screening tests to aid diagnosis and research new treatments. Science is hoping that new knowledge about LBD will one day lead to more effective treatments and even ways to cure or prevent the disorder. Until then, researchers need volunteers with and without LBD for clinical studies. The National Institute of Health and other groups help people learn about clinical trials and studies and find research opportunities near them. You can visit the, you can visit alzheimers.gov, the Lewy Body Dementia Association, which is lbd.org, or clinicaltrials.gov to learn more about that part. But I think that's enough from the National Institute on Aging. So I will put all of this paperwork back in order. I have a couple of things from the LBDA site directly to read later, but let's put the capture back on top. LBD. This comes off of the Louis Body Dementia Association's website. LBD affects an estimated 1.4 million individuals in the United States. At the Louis Body Dementia Association, they understand that though many families are affected by this disease, few individuals and medical professionals are aware of the symptoms, diagnostic criteria, or even that LBD exists. There are, imp there are important facts about LBD that you should know if you, a loved one, or a patient you are treating may have LBD. First, Lewy body dementias are the second most common form of degenerative dementia. 
The only other form that is more common is Alzheimer's. LBD is an umbrella term for dementia associated with the presence of Lewy bodies, abnormal deposits of alpha nuclein protein in the brain. Two, LBD can have three common presentations. Regardless of the initial symptom, over time, all three presentations will develop similar cognitive, physical, sleep, and behavioral features. Some individuals will start with a movement disorder leading to the diagnosis of Parkinson's and later develop dementia symptoms. This, this is diagnosed as Parkinson's disease dementia. Another group of individuals will start out with a cognitive or memory disorder that may be mistaken for Alzheimer's, but over time, two or more distinctive features become apparent, leading to the diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies. Lastly, a small group will first present neuropsychiatric symptoms, which can include hallucinations, behavioral problems, and difficulty with complex mental activity which also leads to an initial diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies. Third, the most common symptoms include impaired thinking, such as loss of executive function, memory, or the ability to understand visual information, fluctuations in cognition, attention, or alertness, problems with movement, including tremors, stiffness, slowness, and difficulty walking, visual hallucinations, or seeing things that are not in fact present, sleep disorders, such as acting out one's dreams while asleep, behavioral and mood symptoms, including depression, apathy, anxiety, agitation, delusion, or paranoia and changes in autonomic body functions, such as blood pressure control, temperature regulation, and bladder and bowel function. Four, the symptoms of LBD are treatable. All medications prescribed for LBD are approved for a course of treatment for symptoms related to other diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's with dementia, and offer symptomatic benefits for cognitive movement, movement and behavioral problems. Five, early and accurate diagnosis of LBD is essential. It is important because LBD patients may react to certain medications differently than Alzheimer's or Parkinson's dementia patients. A variety of drugs, including anti-cholinergics, I had to look at that word for a second, and some anti-Parkinsonian medications can worsen LBD symptoms. That is half of those. I will jump back into the game, and we'll read the others when I get out another big pack. Oh. Phones are trying to slide off of my head very slowly to the back. All right, that's the next direction to go, I think. 
Yeah, that's gotta be. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything useful here. Oh, that's right, I dropped down from somewhere up here. I think I've collected- oh, more heavy bolter ammo. Yes, please. Hello, you would've been nice. That's irritating that that's all the way up there. Oh, good God. Okay, you don't need to tag Moobot. The command is donate. Give me two seconds, y'all. All right. It did not show up on Twitch because she had to go through the website, but I want to thank Green Seam for donating, I think she said 50, to the Wee Body Dementia Association. So we are now at 85 raised for the charity. I am so glad. I am so grateful. Um, it's not going to show on Twitch because she had to go through the link directly to the site rather than through uh, the buttons on Twitch, but yeah. So just know that that money amount in the corner should be $50 higher.
I can't pick up any of the health because I'm at full health. That's awesome. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna backtrack for that ammo down there. Because I think there was plasma ammo. You know, you wouldn't think the big fuck-off space marines should fit on these narrow passages. Fucking nerdlings. I don't know if it's them or the screamers that are more annoying. Hi, Chica! Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, full cam. Full cam. Come hither, Duchess. She's like, oh no. Ow. How did you manage to scratch my finger without actually reaching for my finger? Hi. Oh. You approached me, madam. <laughs> Don't waste valuable plasma bolts on fecking nerglings. Look. I, I still had it in my hand and just started pulling the trigger. Hi. Here, would you like to be on the desk? Yes, solid ground, please, mother. No, you can't, you can't, you, you can't sit on my paperwork. That's what a chain sword's for. Not with the nerglings. It misses more often than it hits on them. I just got cat hair all over my lipstick, but that's okay. She's purring. Hi. She purring hard. I want to see if y'all can hear if I turn off the music for a second. I'm curious if y'all can hear her purring. It's not just looking at the target, like... The, the nerglings jump around so much that they don't really work to target with it sometimes. I'm hoping y'all can hear Chica purring. Might need to turn volume up, but... <laughs> okay. Ma'am. Ma'am, please don't knock everything over up there. Okay. Are you gonna behave while you're up here? Hello. Oh god, I forgot to unmute the game. Uh... Oh god. Sorry, I forgot to unmute the game. Well, now I need all that armor. And health. So we're gonna go back for it. There's something here, too. Paperwork that is beneath you, madam. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to our 10 things you should know about LBD. Number six traditional antipsychotic medications may be contraindicated for individuals living with LBD. Many traditional antipsychotic medications, such as haloperidol or thioridazine, I'm trying here, guys, are sometimes. Pres what? You're fussing and I'm not even touching you. You're mad about nothing. Are sometimes prescribed for individuals with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia to control behavioral symptoms. However, LBD affects an individual's brain differently than other forms of dementia. As a result, these medications can cause severe worsening of movement and potentially fatal conditions, and a potentially fatal condition known as neuroleptic malignant syndrome, or NMS. 
NMS causes severe fever, muscle rigidity, and breakdown that can lead to, ki to kidney failure. Seven, early recognition, diagnosis, and treatment of LBD can improve a patient's quality of life. It may affect an individual's cognitive abilities, motor functions, or ability to complete activities of daily living. Treatment should always be monitored by a physician and may include prescriptive and other therapies, exercise, diet, sleep, habits, changes in behavior, and daily routines. Eight, individuals and families living with LBD should not have to face this alone. LBD affects every aspect of a person, their mood, the way they think, and the way they move. People with LBD and their families will need considerable resources and assistance from healthcare professionals and agencies. The combination of cognitive, motor, and behavioral symptoms creates a highly challenging set of demands for continuing care. Uh, the Lewy Body Dementia Association was formed to help families address many of those challenges. Number seven is cut off here, so I'm gonna go find it on their website. Or number nine, rather, was cut off. Number nine, physical physician education is urgently needed. An increasing number of general practitioners, neurologists, Neurologists and other medical professionals are beginning to learn to recognize and differentiate the symptoms of LBD, the most misdiagnosed dementia, from other diseases. However, more education on the diagnosis and treatment of LBD is essential. And number 10, more research is urgently needed. Research needs include tools for early diagnoses, such as screening questionnaires, biomarkers, neuroimaging techniques, and more effective therapies. With further research, LBD may ultimately be treated or prevented through early detection and neuroprotective interventions. Would you like to get down? Is that the problem? You're mad at the distance to the floor? <sighs> Currently, there is no specific test to diagnose LBD. If you would like to support LBDA's work, Helping to further research, please donate today via the Twitch button here on our stream since I am raising money for them, or you can go to lbda.org slash donate or use command donate in the chat if you are on mobile to donate that money. And that will help their cause and help our cause. And you are helping me honor my dad on the, the day before what should be his 82nd birthday. All right, let's put the capture back on top and keep going here. Right, I'm going down for armor and health. It's worth it to backtrack, I have learned in this game. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't need the health, I need the armor. Okay, I got a grenade. I bet there's no more armor, is there? Damn it. I want more contempt. Can I hate the aspiring and ascended champions. They so far have been the worst enemy. Oh, that was the end of the fucking level. Is there nothing there? Nothing there. Okay. If I had realized that was the end of the level, I would have just ended the level and then <laughs> read some stuff there. 96%. That's because some of the nerdlings jumped off the cliff. I almost got all the secrets though. I only missed one, so that's good. That's nice. Oh boy. Okay. I will hold off on reading my last thing about LBDA. How long have we been going? 244. Okay. Not as long as I thought. Does it say sweet sweet sound of destruction on the Emperor's best? <laughs> yes. All right. Sanctum Manufactorum. Um, I don't. How far are we? Uh oh. One of our dogs is being fussed at. I'm curious how far we are. Oh! If we finish this level, we're halfway through the game. The Melta Gun! I want it! The, 
neck rest on this chair is moving ever so slightly, and so it's squeaking into my ear. That's just more ammo. Okay. I went in a circle. Is that a door? No. Okay. It looked suspiciously like a door. What did you say? Super close range, super heated plasma blaster, the melted gun can literally turn tank hull armor into molten slag. Nice. Alright. Well, that's a big ol' line of health. Probably should have snuck up here first and then. Damn. Whoop. That's not great. use against higher toughness enemies, you know, like a tank. You know? Ooh, y'all are getting some bad lag, according to my end. Good lord. You know what? I'm gonna shift this over so I can read y'all's messages better. And I am going to turn off my dashboard for now. And hopefully that reduces y'all's lag, because it's one less thing using the internet on my end. My computer is hardwired into the internet, but... Where are you trying to go, Chica? something making noises at me.
bitch? I said pick up the contempt. wants to play. for that, but it took out multiple of them at once. So I'm really not worried about it.
god. Oh boy. Alright. Big health pack. <laughs> so, this is just a reminder of some of the symptoms of Lewy body dementia or LBD that can present. They can present in a different order at different times and in different ways with each individual patient. So, any changes in mood, in behavior, in sleep patterns, in memory, movement, things like that should all be brought up with a doctor, particularly any neurologist, psychiatrist, etc. that you or your loved one might be seeing. And if you aren't seeing any sort of doctors like that, I highly suggest making an appointment with one. See who your general uh, or your loved one's general care physician would recommend on, or who is in network for you and go from there. Each person with Lewy body dementia is different in terms of which symptoms they have at the outset. The most common symptoms include changes in thinking, behavior, movement, and sleep. Dementia refers to a significant decline in thinking ability. With LBD, it affects memory, decision-making, problem-solving, planning, and abstract or analytical thinking. Cognitive fluctuations involve unpredictable changes in concentration, alertness, or attention. Parkinson's-like symptoms include slowness of movement, rigidity, stiffness, shuffling gait, tremors, and balance problems. Behavioral changes include hallucinations of seeing or hearing things that are not actually present and can occur in other senses such as hearing, touch, and smell. If the hallucinations are not disruptive, they may not need to be treated. However, if they are frightening or create challenging behavioral changes, your physician may recommend treatment. Delusions or false beliefs and paranoia or unwarranted suspicion can occur, sometimes alone or in response to threatening hallucinations. Changes in mood, including depression, anxiety, and apathy are extremely extremely common in LBD and may significantly affect your quality of life. Your doctor may recommend treating depression with certain classes of antidepressants. Sleep disorders include REM sleep behavior disorder, excessive daytime sleepiness, temporary loss of consciousness with difficulty waking, insomnia, and restless leg syndrome. These sleep problems can be subtle and hard to diagnose. Evaluation by a sleep specialist can help identify and treat these issues. REM sleep behavior disorder involves acting out dreams and may result in injuries from hitting bed partners or falling out of bed. Symptoms of REM sleep behavior disorder may appear years before any other symptoms of Lewy body. Autonomic symptoms are common in LBD. The autonomic nervous system controls many involuntary functions. Problems with temperature and blood pressure regulation can occur, as well as constipation, urinary incontinence, and sexual dysfunction. Low blood pressure can cause dizziness and fainting when a person stands from a sitting or a lying position too quickly. The LBDA has developed a useful checklist to help physicians and their patients identify key LBD symptoms used to make a diagnosis. This publication features a patient-friendly symptom checklist on the first page and the physician-oriented diagnostic criteria on the second. This resource can be completed in advance by those who may have symptoms and provided to their doctors at their next office visit. It could also be handed out by healthcare professionals for their patients to complete an office visit. You can download the LBD Diagnostic Symptom Checklist at lbda.org. I'm not gonna read off the entire URL, but they have a symptom checklist on their website. So if you or 
If you suspect that you or a loved one is starting to develop symptoms that may hint at this being a potential cause, you can print it out and fill it out yourself or and bring it with you to your next doctor's visit. Or if you are a physician and would like to help kind of pinpoint potential diagnoses of this disorder in your own patients, you can find copies of it on their website and print them out to hand out to any of your patients. You may particularly want to give them out to any patients that are 50 or older. Uh, but we've hit three hours and we've definitely exceeded, we've exceeded our goal twice. So I'm gonna focus on finishing this level and then I think we'll call it a night. Okay, so I can't go in there because I need the key. So now we go find the key. the elevator up to that platform. Ha! Where are you? Oh, there you are.
appreciate that I can hit them from that far away. Can't use you, but it's nice to know you're there. I just found a particular beer caddy in my living room that I feel like Mr. Tax would be very interested in. <laughs> oh, hello. You know what? Fuck you. Give you a shiny nickel for it. <laughs> Hi.
you're up to that? I'll try to remind Jean to bring it in the morning for you. You know, I scooched this over. There we go. Is there an elevator up to the top of this one? Oh. It would appear not. Nope. Okay, so those resources are just wasted. Time to go in the red door! Oh boy. go that way yet. did that, but that's okay. That was fun. Shot. Great. 
Ah, uh, the Melta, my personal favorite of the Blessed Trinity. The other two being the Bolter and the Flamer, of course. Oh, this is just the first room I was already in. Okay. No, that's where I came from. Yeah, this is where I came from. Neat. I need the exit, though. I still need the key for that. So what have I missed? What am I missing here?
Dungeon surrounds are super effective against heavily armored targets. I see. I believe you've told me that. As their name suggests, Vengeance Rounds were developed for user grants. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing so hot. Gimme. Gimme. Good on ammo. I I need to backtrack to the other damn purple door. Oh, can I drop down? I think I can.
fuel is full. Cool. Awesome. Oh joy.
Wow. Brought me back up only to be dead.
damn it.
Yeah, if I can get to the secret, focus on the Lord of Change. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's a little too much going on to focus on any one thing. on the map before the fucking world of change because this isn't fucking working. How is something hitting me on the left?
I'm losing all my fucking armor before I even get out the goddamn start room.
nothing, Dags. Getting any better. Not at fucking all.
fucking damn it. No wonder I'm fucking terrible.
with I don't wanna deal with you right now. Nope.
The game is running slow because it's tired of this shit. Guys, we've been going four and a half goddamn hours.
did nothing. I did absolutely nothing right there. Charging it. I died. I died. I finally killed everything that wasn't him and I fucking still fucking died. What's the definition of madness? Or insanity? Whatever the word is. Same difference, right?
fall off the fucking map again!
can look toward the middle of the map because it's so good. The middle section of the map is slowly
Thanks for staying so late.
there, Dags. Thank you. I'm aware of everything that is killing me, but I appreciate that you are trying to help. But there is no helping this. I am fucked. I'm not beating this one tonight. And we're just gonna have to start it over from the beginning next time, because...
fucking angry. That is the most trouble I've had in this game with any of the boss battles. That was bad. And the fact that the game itself was slowing down because too much was happening in the center of the map is a problem because it was affecting my gameplay, like actively. Hopefully I'm gonna restart that level from the beginning next time and hopefully we can, we can beat it. It might be the only level on Wednesday, but hopefully we can beat it. Fuck. My brain has to adjust to not being in there. On the bright side, we did raise, obviously my, my donation thing is inaccurate up there because I don't have the donations that people made on mobile, but we raised $85 for the Louie Body Dementia Association tonight. I want to thank all of you who donated and all of you who watched, even if you didn't donate any money, for being here, for supporting this, supporting me. And yeah, it's after midnight, so happy birthday, daddy. Yeah, we will be back here on Wednesday at 6.30 Central Time for just a normal stream, no, no fundraising or anything. You won't have to hear me ramble on and on and on about Louie Body Dementia. I'm going to find a better way to go about working in the talk about the cause for future nonprofits. We will do our next charity stream in April. I will pick a day for that. I need to change that calendar. I just realized it's still on February. But yeah, I will figure out what day in April we want to do the next one, which will be for the Rolo Foundation. And I'll talk more about that when we do that. But yeah. Dags, thank you for trying to help me get through that fight. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry I was getting frustrated and I'm sorry if it sounded like I was frustrated at you because I do know you were trying to help. I just, the game itself was was fighting, running that fight. And that was making it more difficult for me to focus. My hands were getting sweaty. The controller isn't working consistently. There were several issues happening. So whew, I'll talk more about other stuff happening later in the week when we have the Wednesday stream. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in for this five hour stream. This is, I think, gonna be the longest stream I've ever done on this channel. But it was for a good cause and I was really hoping I could beat a second level tonight, but yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in and for donating and for supporting both the charity and myself. I'll see y'all right back here on... Yeah, I hope I'm learning. I just, I, I think I got set up a little bit for failure because I didn't realize that once I took that elevator, I was not going to be able to go back down and thus I was no longer going to have access to anything you know, behind me to to stock up. So I'm gonna need to be more careful about resources on that one, but hopefully we can get through that one next time. So yeah, next stream will be Wednesday at 6.30 central. If you are new here and haven't done so already, please consider clicking follow and turning on notifications so you don't miss a stream. That is, of course, if you enjoyed tonight. If you didn't, I'm, I would be curious why you're still here, I guess, because you just wanted to watch me sit there and fail but you know the easiest way to keep watching me fail is to follow and turn on notifications <laughs> is anybody live we're not raiding a fortnite stream so we're gonna we're gonna hold off on the raid tonight especially because it's midnight i'm fuck i'm exhausted <laughs> so yeah thank y'all again i hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night and a wonderful week i'll see y'all on wednesday and keep a my loves bye y'all is it too late to feel you? Is it too late to tell you about how much I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did? But I promise, dear, I never.